Yeah, I've just um, seen a BMW. Yeah, he's doing 60 mile an hour on a 40. He'll do a compliance stop in a second. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. So the reason I've stopped you is because you're speeding along Thamesdown Drive. Ian Evans has been doing this job for 10 years, but he doesn't get paid for it. He's a police special. You could be sat around the corner and a call could come in, a uh, stress call or uh, you know, someone trying to commit suicide. It's just very satisfying to be able to come along and sort of help a member of the public and sort of calm them down and let them know and reassure them. Um, and I enjoy that. I just enjoy the satisfaction of being able to help someone. Nationally, specials make up 16% of police constable posts. Wiltshire has around 1,000 PCs and 136 specials. They want to increase that number to 500. That would mean a third of its constables will be unpaid volunteers. There's a danger that people will see it as uh, using volunteers to plug essential policing gaps. I think we're very clear that the Special Constabulary have a very special place and that they're there to support the policing opportunities, not to replace regular police officers. Are you using specials to plug the gap because of cuts? No, I mean, it's fair to say that you know, we have uh, fewer officers now than we, than we did a few years ago, but we still have the core strength uh, and we certainly would not ever use uh, expected specials to fill in that gap. Specials have the same responsibilities and the same powers as regular police officers. You didn't have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you They free up the police, enabling them to take on other, more serious them. duties. Wiltshire Constabulary yeah. say people wanting to become a special will receive full, ongoing training, and they'll have the chance to specialise in an aspect of policing, such as cybercrime or traffic. Angela Walker, BBC South Today.